Hey, this is Jeff Lieberman. I'm the founder of Wonder Machines and the designer of Slow Dance, our first product. I wanted to take a little bit more time and walk through some of the features and through some of the details that you might not get to see in a 30 second uh, typical spot. So first I wanna show you the three frame options that we have. We've got the light pine, the ebonized ash, and the original craft pine. What you can really notice here if you look up close is that this, this is no veneer, this is really high quality solid wood. Um, I looked through eight different wood manufacturers to find one who could actually make it to the spec that we needed it to work at. So uh, I've seen a lot of knockoffs of this product out there made in, in, in very nasty ways. And uh, yeah, they're much cheaper, but when you look up close, there's a gigantic difference in the product. This is what Slow Dance looks like underneath. It's a nice brass plate. I was really inspired by like guitar amplifiers and there's a brightness control that lets you up and down the brightness relative to the room and then we have a mode button and there's four different modes so I'm gonna just stabilize this and show you that there's the super slow mode where it's ultra slow motion there's a faster mode which is about three times as fast as that ultra slow motion some of the things move so subtly that you want to move it like this to get more detail this is the third mode and you really need to see this up close to get the detail but this is like in the in the old 1940s slow motion movies this is that kind of like pop and lock where you can actually see the frame rate of slow motion in those old movies so i wanted to replicate that because that's something that no object can do like move discontinuously through the air and then the fourth mode we call double trouble which would need its own little separate movie to explain how it works but this doubles the object. It makes the object move in slow motion, but it makes there be two of them. And so if you look up close, you can actually see there's two of these objects rotating around each other. Now, obviously none of these are physically possible. This is all a physics illusion, um, but this is especially impossible. You can't double an object and make it intersect with itself. And then it goes to a static mode if you just want the light on and then it turns itself. So switching objects out of slow dance is incredibly easy um, and I hope that if you get a slow dance you explore your whole neighborhood and try to find the, the weird like weeds on the sidewalk. Those are usually the most interesting things. And so what I actually did is right before filming this I gave myself two minutes outside of my house to find weeds on the sidewalk literally. So I found a bunch of things and I just want to show you how easy it is to switch an object out. You know you need to have an object that can fit in the holder but this is just a little rubber band. So the feather just comes right out and there's a little V groove in there. And you can just slide the object in and then all of a sudden that's running. It's quite beautiful. Now, a lot of people ask about noise. You know, this thing has high speed vibration. Is this thing gonna be a really noisy problem in my house? We're in a room that's at about 33 decibels when I'm just here. And so let's bring it closer. Yeah, we're looking at about 37. So remarkably quiet. That's quieter than a computer fan. Um, I run this in my house 24 seven, five feet away from me in the kitchen and I don't notice it at all. There's a couple ways to mount these and I've, I've shown a couple here. Uh, as you can see, they just mount quite fine on a desktop or table, um, but there's a little bit of shakiness. So I do this at my own home because I know that it's somewhere where there's not gonna be any kind of problem. If you need more stability, this these legs are included. Um, you just screw them in and then all of a sudden you got three times the stability front and back. So this is not going anywhere. So now I'm gonna take this outside and uh, I can show you in another room how this thing plugs into the wall. So we also include two wall hooks if you want to mount this directly on the wall. You just make a level line, mount the hooks, and lay it right in. And then you can plug it in with one of the fabric cables, which looks nicer than an AC cable does when you're hanging it. So that's it. I hope you get a chance to try one of the slow dances out, and please get in touch with your feedback and anything that you find to put inside.